Hey, Chrissy Critters, and welcome back to a another episode. Thank you for coming back to my channel. Today, as the title says, not suggest, says, we're going to talk about makeup. Again, don't take my word for it. This is just stuff that I know, but I'm not a professional. I, um, hmm, uh, uh, this is just what I've learned techniques, especially for dry, 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 normal skin. That's what it is. It's normal, but it's dry. So hit that subscribe button before you leave. Like the video if you like. And without further ado, let's get into the video. Okay, so. Our first topic agenda is what I usually start off with. Now, this is just how I do my makeup. Please don't think you have to do your makeup a certain way. You do it however you want to do it, how you've been doing it, if you've been doing makeup. You know, this is just, let's talk about it. Let me give you some pointers and, um, you know, maybe some products that would do better for your skin type. But at the end of the day, I am no way informed telling you this is how you do it. You've been doing it wrong. It is always a good idea to prep the eyes. You either you do it with a eye primer, eyeshadow primer. This is the one I use. This is the Re Re Revlon Color Stay eyeshadow primer. Pretty much every brand out there makes an eyelid primer. So you can do that. You can actually use a uh, face primer too for your lids. Don't let anybody think you can't do that either. Um, so if you don't want to buy two separate primers, you can do that. If you don't want to buy a primer for your eyelids at all, um, concealer will be your best bet. Whatever concealer you want to use. I like this one, but <laughs> this is getting a little too expensive. So if you're a cheap gal, um, this is in a, uh, concealer that I really like. This is the e.l.f. Hydrating Camo Concealer. Remember to always powder after you use concealer, especially on your eyelids. Many people don't, um, realize it or think about it, but your eyelids can get, uh, can be oily. I do have oily eyelids, so, um, I like primer. Primer is good for those um, oily girl eyelids because it will keep the la longevity of your eyeshadow. So if you want it to stay, prep your eyelids however you do it, but you need to prep. So my eyelids are already prepped and ready to go. So <sighs> Gloria's forehead uh, unranked. So um, we're going to go into this these are our colors, fallish kind of, which we're getting into. So that's what we're going to do. Okay. So in the end, I used tan, flambe, and um, to darken this up because even though it looks dark here, it's not actually all that dark. So I used um, melting this brown shade and then for the sheen on the eyes okay this golden shade <laughs> this shade which is um blowtorch and deluxe so those are the shades i use now we're gonna go on to our favorite part is um eyeliner so let's talk about eyeliner Depending on your look, your, your aesthetic. So, of course, this is my favorite, the e.l.f. Uh, liquid eyeliner. I like that. It comes with a um, kind of like a soft brush. And it's actually a brush. And for me, it gives a good... Um, consistency in, you know, lining the eyelids. I also like this one from Absolute New York. Um, this is the double end skinny fat for the more dramatical 
stuff but I also like this and this is more of like a felt pen and that's what that is also a good consistency so I'm into liquid and pens um technically the only time I'm using a pencil is if I'm I'm lining the lower lids I mean the lower lash line that's when I use a pencil other than that I'm a liquid girl a liquid or pen um there is also gel. Now, gels are a little bit more um, waterproof. They uh, pretty much stay a little bit more on your eye without being waterproof. You know, it says in the package, oh, yeah, this is blah, 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 waterproof. Um, this is e.l.f. and I do like. Without having a waterproof uh, eyeliner, this would be your best bet. It'll stay put. It will keep um, all day. Um, if you want extra keep, I do suggest you do a powder on top of it. You know, a brown, a black. Um, this is brown. So if you're going to do brown, I would put brown eyeliner on top to keep it set and whatnot. So I've got also the Relove um, Long Lash um, Lengthening Mascara. Me personally, I like mascaras that lengthen. I'm not really concerned about volume. I want my eyelashes to be out there. I want them to be like, woo. If they have a little volume to them, great. Do I need it? No, I'm, it's not really what I'm looking for. But that's a personal journey. That's what I like. It's always good to get a lash, ma a mascara that, you know, for one, doesn't irritate your eyes. So if your eyes are constantly watering with a certain mascara, your eyes are allergic to that mascara and you unfortunately need to let that mascara go. But if you have watery eyes, because it's not always your mascara, if you know you got watery eyes that you just water all the time, then a waterproof mascara is also benefic beneficial for you. Let's move on. Beautiful primer. Love it. Again, my favorite e.l.f. This is the Poreless Putty. Um, I like it because it has squalene. And for my dry skin, that's beautiful. Hydrates wonderfully. Hyaluronic acid, for some reason, does not really agree with my skin. So I stay away from the products that have that in it. So Primer is a beautiful thing. Why? Because... If you're a girl like myself and you don't really like the thought of your foundation, whatever you're using, rather it be liquid or powder, sitting in your pores, and primer is the best way. Not only does primer keep your foundation on your face and not sliding everywhere where it shouldn't slide, it also acts as a barrier between you and your uh, your skin and your foundation. So, I highly suggest that you wear a primer. Um, now, for us dry girls, primer is a beautiful thing because when you're dry, I don't care what foundation you're using, rather, rather it be wet, I mean, the glowy, the natural matte powder, when you're dry and you have the nerve to put your foundation on just pretty much moisturized skin. I moisturize, moisturize, moisturize. You can never moisturize. I oh, got because nobody likes a crusty face. Let's derail for a minute from what I was saying to that. <clears throat> moisturize your face before you put foundation on. I can't highly stress that enough. What you're doing is moisturizing the face because there's nothing like you putting on your foundation on a dry, bare face and then it starts getting patchy and breaking apart and stuff. If you're an oily girl, that's a no-no. Don't do it. If you're a dry girl, don't do it. You are create, you are setting yourself up for failure for your face uh, makeup. Now let's get into the technicalities. Usually... A concealer is technically your um, foundation's uh, partner in concealing all the stuff that 
you don't want peeking through or showing. So not only do you have your foundation, but you have concealer. Concealer is built to hide those blemishes and acne and scarring and stuff like that. It is also a brightener. So I don't feel like I'm telling you anything you don't already know. So what I'm looking for is to hide these um, <laughs> hereditary dark circles from my father's side. So that's what I'm looking for. Let's get into brows. Um, again, e.l.f. brow. Um, this is a pencil, but it's a um, the wax kind. It's not a pencil pencil. Um, so I like these. I can't really say much about eyebrows because as you can see, as my mom calls them, Brezhnev eyebrows and, you know, try out some things. It might work for you, it might not work for you. You will, you'll never know unless you try it. So don't act, um, please don't think that I'm trying, trying to tell you, well, you shouldn't try that product because it doesn't work well for your face. I don't know your face. Pencil. Is great. It's easier to manipulate and everything. Uh, that's where I was going with that. Um, a gel. This is the formulas, uh, Physician's Formula Brow Last. Um, this is a brow gel. So it's a little, it's not exactly hard to manipulate, but it, um, drying time is a little slower and, uh, it can be a little messy, so this is not as forgiving. I got the Kate Von D uh, brow gel, and um, this is medium brown. I like it. Uh, brow gels in a pomade form, they're almost anything like in a bottle or in a jar. You, their their playing time is a little limited because they will dry down and then they kind of plaster your eyebrows down. So if that's what you're looking for. Powder, these are powders. So um, this is by the brand um, Revolution, they're re-love. Powders are also great. They're like pencils. They give you a lot of play time. They will let you be able to manipulate and everything. And then you can just put the wax on top and be done. Um, there's also actual brow pins. This is the She Glam um, Feather Better Liquid Eyebrow Pencil. This one actually has um, teeth. So it has a teeth situation um so it gives you these claw looking situations um this does well i didn't have a problem with it it has a bit of play time as well contouring will chisel out certain features you want prominent or hide and whatnot so I contour and I'm hiding. I'm not trying to highlight or, or chisel out a feature. I'm trying to hide the fatness of my nose. So I do like powder. Powder is easier to manipulate, uh, but there is also good contouring sticks and um, um, cream contour palettes. It just depends on your desired look and your desired application creams either in stick or in palette form are great um but they don't actually have a lot of play time cream products also have a better staying property um so it will stay on your face a little bit better especially if you're planning to be out in the sun or out all day or you do want to set that with a powder though so it stays there because it can have the potential of moving all over your face so let's move on um to actual powder so again i use this this is pretty cheap um and i get it in translucent now they do have it in um colors but translucent powder is better because it's universal but if you want a color 
There is the Fit Me, and I got this in 15. This is light, and it's a loose powder as well, so it has a slight color to it that does well for me. I usually use loose powders for baking purposes and setting. Now, if I want to set set, I use a press powder. Now, this is the one I go to all the time because it's the True Match um, powder in Cool. This is C3. And I just put it all over my face. Now, do I need to really? No. But I like to set my foundation and the rest of my face. I'm using the e.l.f. mini face palette. Um, this is in this shade, Leche. Um, so it's got the shadow and highlighter. Pardon me. But blush on my face. There we go. Blush is the, you know, kind of like the icing on your cake, which would be your face. It, um, you know, depending on how you place it and where you need to place it, really, depends on how it's going to look on your face. There is several forms of that. Of course, you know, we've got the powder, we've got the liquid, we've got the cream, we've got the cream and the stick. So there's a multitude. If you're an oily girl, set that blush, set that bronzer because it's going to move. Unless it's specifically made for that kind of skin tone. Um, especially if you've got creams and liquids, they will move. Um, so, um, set them set them with a powder blush though just don't set them with the powder you you wash out the color like that so set it with a blush color that's either similar or close to it because you're not trying to replace the color you're just trying to keep the color on your face because the, mo the that's the product that will dissipate quicker than any other of your um makeup stuff is blush Highlighter. Highlighter is kind of like contouring. You want to highlight the areas you want to highlight. Um, you usually highlight um, a lot of light. Girls like to highlight this area. Of course, the nose. That's where I like. Cupid's bow. You can do the chin. Um, and of course, this area, which I like as well. Um, that's just preference. It's also just to, you know, show off that, you know, you want to bring attention to the center of your face. That's usually why you're putting it there. Liquid highlighter, um, which is not as common, but there is that option. Um, and it's kind of like liquid blush. You've got to pat it in, get it in there, whatnot. There is also your cream highlighter, which is right here. Um, also, you got to pat it in. A lot of cream and liquid highlighters do better when you use your finger but you can also use your beauty sponge and just you know tap it out and whatnot mirrored of you know uh lip choices there's this which is the yuma or uma beauty so sorry if i mispronounced that um but it is a limp toy uh, it's a lip tint uh, lip oil and gloss all in one. This is a lip tint by um, Pink Flash. Lip tints I love. I am getting into lip tints because not only is the color pretty, but it's the closest thing that's going to stay on your lip because it's a tint, which means it's actually a stain. It's going to stain your lips, which, you know, the stain stays. So there's also natural lip um lipsticks for those natural girls who don't mind reapplying this because you will have to reapply that there's also the matte girl now you got your mattes and then you got your semi mattes so you don't want a tint but you want more color payoff and more of a well color payoff mattes or semi mattes are going to be your thing there is also liquid mattes that are better. Um, so they're going to be, you know, a good matte. Now they'll stay a little bit more because it's a liquid. So 
it almost is like a stain. It'll stay for a while, but it'll dissipate. So depending on your lip, there's, there's no rules for lips. It's whatever you want to. At the end of the day, you guys do what makes you happy, what makes you, you know, express yourself and whatnot. So I hope this was at least informative, if not boring and long. I know. So till the next time, guys. Bye.